ओके वी कैन गो लाइव नाउ या सेंटर में बैठ जाए हां ठीक है एक घंटे मैं मैं बता रहा अभी भी टाइम है वी आर स्टिल नॉट लाइव उसको सॉरी मेघा वी आर जस्ट लाइव वी आर जस्ट गोइंग लाइव नाउ या ओके वेलकम एवरीवन wonderful to see a very large number of teachers already in the session and uh, i was just trying to count and i think we already have representation from almost 20 different states so we have uh, 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 people from meghalaya from delhi from assam from andhra pradesh uh, from jharkhand uh, where else from uh, okay lot of people who have just said good evening while well, i'm very happy to get your good evening i would love to know where you are from your school your location uh yeah welcome from from uttar pradesh uh we we have uh, people from karnataka from dadra nagar haveli from uh, punjab from maharashtra great to great to see the spread over here and uh, i'm not trying to uh, name all the locations but uh, uh, but but i'm just pointing you to the chat where you can see the breadth of people from across the country we also have a couple of international people i see someone from philippines uh, we we have a couple of international people you you are welcome to stay of course uh, uh, the, though the though this particular webinar is much more meant for teachers from india uh, we 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 welcome you and 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 you you can stay on so uh, i hope i'm clear can i get a round of yeses on the chat if you can hear me great so uh, so we'll get started now i i've got a lot of yeses i think you can hear me uh, the context here is that ministry of education has launched a national program called vidya amrit mahotsav which i'm sure many of you must have heard about and uh, we have an esteemed panel from ncert which is with us today to tell us about vidya amrit mahotsav but before i introduce the panel uh, just to make sure that everyone is paying attention i'm going to ask you to vote on a couple of questions so let me share my screen and i will request everyone to go to www www dot menti.com so i'm requesting everyone to go to www.menti.com and on menti.com you need to enter a code which is 2945591 i will repeat that 2945591 so on www.menti.com please enter 2945591 and uh, we'll just get a quick round of votes to get everyone's energy level going before we start the formal presentation so let's let's start with the first question so there are there are two questions here you can actually vote i think there are a lot of people who have already voted on both uh, so let's start with the first question which category are you part of with respect to vidya amrit mahotsav or what is called vam one option is i'm already participating in vam and i have some specific doubts second option 
I'm already participating and I want to learn more about it through the NCRT center session. Third option, I'm considering participating and I want to learn more. Fourth, I don't know much about VAM and I want to find out. So this is the first question. The second question is, okay, we'll, we'll give, you, give you another minute to vote on the first question. So once again, I'll repeat www.menti.com, M-E-N-T-I.com, and the code is 294-555-91, 294-555-91. Okay, so I think we've got enough responses to get an idea. Looks like majority of our audience today uh, would like to find out more about VAM and may not know too much about it. And I think that's a useful input for the NCRT team in terms of giving a basic idea uh, of VAM. Of course, we also have uh, people who know about it and uh, who are considering participating or have some specific doubts. Let me go to the second question. So the second question, uh, what is Vidya Amrit Mahotsav? And uh, though a lot of people said you don't know much about it, maybe you may know what is the basic objective. So what is Vidya Amrit Mahotsav trying to do? Options are recognizing students who do excellent projects, recognizing teachers for micro improvements, recognizing teachers for the students' work, or celebrating the power of education. Okay, uh, in this case, there is a right answer. The first question did not have a right answer. But in this case, there is a right answer, which is recognizing teachers for micro improvements. And I'm glad that at least half of you who have participated in the voting got it right. Celebrating the power of education is a, uh, is a broader objective, no doubt. And uh, therefore, you know, it's not wrong. But the specific objective of Vidya Amrit Mahotsav is to recognize teachers for micro improvements. And with that, uh, hopefully, you know, everyone is, uh, everyone is fully paying attention. Uh, we have many more parts of the country represented. Again, as I see the chat, there are now people who have joined from Tamil Nadu, who have joined from uh, Madhya Pradesh, so, so various parts of the country now, Haryana, so I, I see people from everywhere. Great, wonderful to see this. Let me introduce our esteemed panelists and uh, we are very glad to have them here with us today. Uh, before that, as your moderator today, I'm Ramya Venkatraman. I'm founder and CEO of Center for Teacher Accreditation or CENTA, which is uh, a large, professional platform for teachers, uh, almost a million teachers, more than 800,000 teachers use CENTA for certification, learning and career growth. And uh, we work very closely with uh, the central government as well as many states towards uh, uh, various goals related to making teaching a more aspirational profession. Uh, and uh, of course, as CENTA, we also work outside India in multiple countries. But as I said, today's session is focused on India. Uh, let me introduce our panelists, Dr. Indu Kumar, Professor Indu Kumar from the Department of ICT and Training, Central Institute of Educational Technology, NCRT. Dr. Indu Kumar is working as National Coordinator of Digital Infrastructure for Knowledge Sharing at Diksha. I'm sure all of you are fully aware of Diksha. And as the national coordinator, Dr. Indu Kumar leads all the activities of Diksha on this front with respect to NEP 2020. So this is virtual labs, foundational literacy and numeracy, educational, education for all, vocational education, uh, CWSN, etc. Uh, and uh, Dr. Indu Kumar has a 
a rich background in education and has led various research and ICT initiatives with CIET and CRT, including some prominent ones in analysis of trends in ICT, evaluation of ICT in school implementation in various states, e Shala, NROER, etc. So Dr. Indu Kumar, very, very privileged to have you with us Thank today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, let me quickly introduce our other two panelists before I hand over to Dr. Indu Kumar to open the uh, session. So Megha works in government advisory domain and is working with NCRT currently. She has been a Teach for India fellow and has worked with a large number of teachers and school leaders in various capacities, particularly with respect to capability building, learning, etc. In particular, Megha is anchoring Vidya Amrit Mohatsav in NCRT and is a firm believer that teachers are the biggest change makers. So Megha fully aligned with you on that. Uh, teachers are the uh, heart of education. And I'm very glad that Ministry of Education is taking initiatives specifically for teachers. Megha, you want to say Thank hi you. to the audience? Sure. Hi, everyone. Namaste. Thank you, hey. Ramya. Soumya is a Young India Fellow and is also the co-founder of Barefoot Education Foundation and is working on building educational leadership for under-resourced schools for the past five years. She is anchoring Vidya Amrit Mohatsav at NCRT with Shiksha Lokam. And uh, again, Soumya believes that every educator has the potential to be an empathetic and dynamic leader who is shaping the world one lesson at a time. Very nicely put, Soumya, and uh, glad to have you here. Thank you so much, Ramya. Glad to be here and orient everyone about the festival. Great. Let me now uh, request Dr. Indu Kumar to open the session by telling us a bit about Vidya Amrit Mahotsa and its objectives. And uh, the, I think you will also be sharing a couple of slides. I request all the teachers and everyone who's attending the session to, uh, to listen carefully. And uh, like a teacher, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions after that to see how well you heard what was being said. Let me hand over Thank to Dr. Indu Kumar. Thank you, Ramya. Thank you for uh, setting the tone for uh, this uh, online meeting. Uh, and uh, I think it was much needed because, and you uh, carried out uh, the Mentimeter activity also, which was also meaningful to take the uh, presentation uh, of today further, because we got to know that most of the people who are attending, they are not aware about this with the Amrit Mahasav. And uh, around 50% are aware, could just guess that it is about innovations in education. So uh, that was a good exercise to keep our presentation uh, accordingly so that we uh, discuss with them the nuances of Vidya Amrit Mahasav and how uh, can they participate because still we have more than a half a month uh, to participate in the Mahasav. So it is, it, it, it is much needed meeting. Thank you very much. So I would like to present a few slides then my colleagues uh, uh, will take over to uh, get into the details of uh, participation in Vidya Amrit Mahasav. So I will be projecting my screen. And uh, what I'll also mention is that the teachers can send uh, comments uh, with, with any questions that you might be having. I will keep tabulating the questions. And once Dr. Indu finishes her presentation, we will ask her uh, any of these questions. I will also mention up front that Vidya Amrit Mahotsav is very easy to participate in because it is related to your day-to-day -day work in the classroom. So I want you to listen to this, understanding how easy it is to participate and nothing that, that is different from what you are doing. So, uh, so with that, Dr. Indu, if you can present your screen and I'll keep noting questions. I think my screen is visible to everyone. 
is my screen visible not yet okay uh, i think you'll have to go to present and share screen so i think now it is visible uh yes now it is visible okay thank you thank you for telling me so we need to understand the background what capability which is there on diksha the we are utilizing to celebrate this vidya amrit mahotsav so there is a capability uh, of micro improvement initiatives micro improvement on uh, diksha app uh, where in teachers can share whatever they are doing on uh, their day to day activities to improve the processes they are involved in so they can document and share Uh, uh, uh using the capability of micro improvements which is there on the ekshaya that is the background so what can i do we need to understand or we need to think of what can i do to make things at least 1% better today than they were yesterday so we have to think like that it is not that we are going to just uh, the, the, the transform the entire education system but small steps uh, can take us to bigger changes if all the teachers which are there in our country are involved are uh, into taking small small steps for uh, addressing the problems they are facing in a meaningful manner we can make big changes over a period of time and we can also learn from each others experiences so that is this micro improvement uh, capability is for so it provides that uh, uh, that facility to all the teachers of this country to innovate uh, share and learn so can we move on to the next slide so uh, this is a uh, uh, vidya amrit uh, initiative which is being celebrated keeping in view we yeah, are utilizing the uh, uh, ut utilizing the vidya utilizing the micro improvement capabilities so it is in accordance with nep 2020 where in two t's are very very important teachers and technology so we need to focus on teachers the professional development of teachers and also use of technology is very very important which was evident from the recent pandemic that we all have faced so that is why these two t's are very very important for us to take up and keeping in view that vidya amrit mahotsav was launched uh, on 29th july 2022 and it was launched by uh, honorable union home minister shri amit shah ji and the theme uh, for this vidya amrit mahotsav is innovative pedagogy uh, innovative pedagogy and it is in the form of a competition and which was launched during shiksha parv 2022 every year we are also celebrating shikshak parv so it was launched uh, on the occasion of shiksha parv so can we move on to the next slide so here you can see uh, what is vidya uh, amrit mahotsav it's a national level festival it promotes and recognizes micro innovations in the domain of pedagogical practices so what is the, uh, the 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 foremost area most important area where teachers are working with teachers need to be proficient in that is pedagogy so improvement in pedagogy is very very important to attain the ultimate goal of education that, that is attainment of learning outcomes a uh, true children uh, and uh, for that assessment also need to be taken up that is also a part of our pedagogical process so uh, that is the whole idea uh, behind it so objective of this festival is to motivate innovate and celebrate first we have to motivate teachers to participate in the festival uh, and to uh, innovate innovate they are already innovating that i i, I am firm believer of every teacher is a innovator but uh, they, uh, they their innovations uh, generally don't come into the light and shared with the larger public larger teacher population so innovation and sharing the innovation with the uh, on a national platform 
uh, will again in turn motivate teachers to uh, innovate more. And then the third step, third objective is to celebrate. So we are going to celebrate innovations which are already happening. So you have to submit innovation on the Iksha app and the submission deadline is December 31st. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next slide. So here you can see the status up till now because this initiative was launched in uh, July and we have also changed the uh, last date, the deadline a number of times. So up till now, 3 lakh plus projects are ongoing uh, on this uh, Diksha app uh, using micro improvement capability. And 25 states and union territories out of 36 are already involved in it. And 15 plus workshops have been conducted by CIT and CRT to orient the teachers, to handhold the teachers, and also to give one-to-one -one support wherever it is required. So we have organized 15 plus workshops. Then 83 NGOs are also partnering because we all know India is a vast country and we have a larger teacher population and we have uh, 36 states and union territories in place. So addressing all this vast number and vast geographical area from the center is uh, quite a humongous and difficult task. So we are also involving NGOs uh, which are located at different states and UTs to support the uh, uh, submission of micro improvement and uh, to support the uh, organization of Vidya Amrit Mahasab. So we had uh, separate meetings with NGO partners also so that we orient them and they in turn handhold uh, the different states and UTs to uh, for better participation, for better sharing and uh, so you uh, you can see here on the map also so 25 are light live states which you can see marked in green then expected to be live soon is one then triggered states are three who have been triggered and uh, uh, those who are uh, just into it and we are supporting them and uh, there are two states which have yet to be uh, triggered on this uh, next slide please so uh, this slide uh, is on why uh, should we participate in vidya amrit mahotsav so it is uh, for recognition at national and state levels because all these states are also participating so some recognitions and awards can also be given at the state levels and those who come up to the national level will be recognized at the national level. So then uh, it gives platform to share innovative ideas with larger educational community th that I have already mentioned. And also it enables collaboration within the ecosystem. So we are, we all uh, together are collaborating on it and then taking this initiative further. So the themes of Vidya Amrit Mahotsav is innovative pedagogy, uh, as I have already mentioned. And we can take up these uh, domains for summation of our uh, projects on that. Curriculum, pedagogy, and assessment. If we have done anything innovative on this, then infrastructure, if any school leader or teacher has uh, done something creative and innovative to improve the infrastructure, could be one uh, another area. Then people, how we are involving different stakeholders and addressing people involved in the area of education to innovate and to address uh, some uh, problem or issue that we are facing, how we are pooling uh, people and uh, engaging and involving people to uh, address. Then inclusive practices and many more. You can choose any theme of your choice or uh, you might already be working on many more areas of education which you uh, uh, are proud of and you also want to share with the larger population of uh, teachers and stakeholders of education. So uh, the areas are management and governance, leadership, 
uh, beneficiary statistics you can also share and how you uh, have been utilizing technology to innovate and uh, it, it innovate and uh, address the day-to-day uh, -day, uh, issues and problems that you are facing uh, so uh, that uh, is ab uh, all about from my side and as I have already mentioned that there are several uh, lakhs projects which are uh, which have already been submitted to NCRT. So we have a few videos to share with you so that you understand the how uh, you understand how we can uh, just uh, concise our uh, innovations in a five minute video and submit because most query that we face are from how we can uh, share our innovation in a five minutes video. So we will be, uh, my colleagues will be uh, putting some exemplar videos also showcasing some exemplar videos so that we understand generally they have this misconception that we have to record a whole 45 minutes class to uh, just introduce what we have done and it is very very essential which is not because innovative pedagogy is not only about teaching a 45 minute uh, class but it, it, and uh, innovations are uh, not done only in a classroom you can go beyond classroom also to address the pedagogical issues and that you will witness in the videos which are submitted so it is not important that you have to use a very high definition camera to submit the concept which you are dealing with the theme that you are dealing with the problem that you have addressed to should be clear uh, and uh, should be uh, should, should be clear what you have uh, in terms of what you have actually done and what was the impact of what you have done so uh, uh, thank you very much over to megha now for taking the presentation further thank you ma'am uh, ramya before we go forward do we have some questions we may want to address or should we go ahead yeah, so Megha, uh, if I can request you to stop the screen sharing uh, for a couple of minutes. Yeah, so I think there are uh, there are a few questions on the technical aspects of how to submit, but which I will not ask right now because I think you are just about to talk about that. There is one question which is, is the video supposed to cover the classroom? or is it supposed to talk about the improvement and maybe you know dr indu can uh, just answer that for a minute yeah we don't have to document the entire 45 minutes uh, period which we take in a uh, uh, class so we have to just showcase glimpses of what we have done so it can be some pedagogic practice also you can capture glimpses and share uh, concise it into a five minute video and uh, share with us so it will be more clear when we will uh, actually be sharing or showcasing an actual video that is submitted by the teacher so this will be more clear how we need to capture and submit and what we need to sure. capture in. and one more question dr indu uh, from dipika c which is that the teacher is spending a lot of time to upload the document what is the benefit to the teacher in participating in this festival? Uh, so uh, some of them, the shortlisted ones will be uh, recognized at the state level. Maybe they can also drill down to the uh, district level also. And it is up to the state how they recognize them at state and uh, district level but the innovations which states will submit us shortlist and submit us the state level jury will uh, submit us will be assessed at the national level and they will be recognized and the innovations of uh, uh, other teachers will also be showcased on the app that they will submit their innovations on so they 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 their uh, whatever they have done their innovations will be shared with the larger public anybody who is using the app can see the innovation submitted by everyone everyone can't be a winner but uh, uh, but uh, the, the, let us see if they are all are getting a certificate at, of participation 
at the national and uh, state levels actually at the national level a jury meeting we will be uh, 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 recognizing the best practices out of all the submissions so that is the uh, whole uh, uh, criteria and the, uh, the the vision behind this and all uh, this will be clear in the slides to come which my colleagues will be uh, presenting Great. So I think this should give everyone uh, a lot of motivation to participate. Uh, and you know, Senda as a body which is continuously working to recognize teachers, we always come across this point from teachers that recognition is something that helps a lot in keeping them I'm... going. Because as a teacher, it is often a lonely profession. You are, uh, yes, you have Very... your colleagues, etc. But you are alone in your classroom. And an initiative like this, like Vidya Amrit Mahotsav, can bring your classroom into the national stage, which uh, a lot of people may not otherwise uh, have access to. Before, before Megha starts presenting the details, let me quickly ask three more questions. And once again, I'm going to request everyone to go to www menti.com and type the code which is 294-555-91 294-555-91 so please start voting again www.menti.com and use the code 295-555-91 294-555-91 Triple five nine one. I hope you can see the screen. Okay, I think people have started voting. So, question is, when can you participate in Vidya Amrit Mahotsav? Option one, when you have made big fundamental changes in your classroom. Option two, when you have made at least one small improvement compared to before. Option three, when your classroom is meeting global standards and option four, only when you are contributing outside your classroom. Okay, in the interest of time, I'm not going to keep it live for too long. Uh, we All the votes so far have got the answer right, which is when you have made at least one small improvement compared to before. I do see one wrong answer, which is when your classroom is meeting global standards, and let me just address whoever has answered that, that that is not necessary. So it is not necessary that your classroom is meeting global standards or you have made some fundamental change. As long as you've made one improvement compared to yesterday, you can participate in Vidya Amrit Mahotsav. And this, is, this should be a very motivating thing because we don't have to feel like we have to wait for one year to participate. You can participate immediately as soon as you've made one small improvement. Let me go to the next question. So what is the deadline for submissions for Vidya Amrit Mahotsav? The options are December 20th, December 31st, January 15th, January 31st. Great. Most of you are getting it right. It's December 31st. So I think Dr. Indu, everyone was listening quite carefully. So we don't have any wrong answers here. This is December what 31st. Okay, somebody saying January 15th. No, please do not wait till then. The deadline will be over. So please make sure you have submitted by December 31st. Let's go to the next question. Now, we are talking about micro improvements. So before Megha shares how to submit, let's get all of you to start thinking of your own classroom. Can everyone type any one micro improvement that you have made in your classroom? And you don't need to type a long paragraph. You can just type two, three quick words. Great. Maths versus origami. Wonderful. And, and by the way, feel free to mention your name if you want, your school name, all that is welcome. 
this is just to get all of us to start thinking of a micro improvement that you've made in your classroom. Great, so somebody has made learning fun, somebody has integrated art, somebody has done something in the area of discipline, and yes, it could be on any area. Somebody has done something outside the classroom, playway method in science, introduced project-based learning, mock parliament to teach federation, mathematics with agriculture from SMBM, hands-on activity and inclusion of songs that somebody called Chitra, maths on a play field, looks like a lot of maths teachers in the group, energizer for active listening, great music in poems, songs based on the area and volume of solids, practicing grammar in literature from Sachin Gopal Singla, Great. So I think you all have got a very good idea of what a micro improvement could look like. And though, you know, Dr. Indu and Megha and Soumya have a better idea, and maybe I should just ask them quickly, uh, you know, would you agree that these are the kinds of micro improvements people should be submitting? I think they have done a lot of good work. So these are the kind of things that we are looking for. And I really congratulate the teachers who are participating uh, for the wonderful innovations that they are doing. And they should be celebrated and shared with larger public. Wonderful uh, themes they are submitting, wonderful topics they are submitting here. And great, I think they are great. worth submitting through with the Amrit Mohsav. Wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. Yeah, great. Sorry. Great. So I'm yeah, going using to... Using art, comic, music, yeah. everything they, uh, they have submitted. And I was also reading something. Uh, they, they, they are relating agriculture with mathematics teaching. So these are actual, actual innovations. Yeah. Great. So, uh, so, so wonderful to see this kind of uh, uh, thought process from everyone here. And uh, very glad that NCRT team also likes many of the uh, or all the ideas which have come up. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and go back to Megha uh, so that the main question which many people have asked on the chat, which is how to submit, can be answered. I think everyone has asked it in different ways, file format, length, etc., etc. So I think Megha will address all those questions. Sure. Thank you, Ramya. We will address all those questions, but those are mainly about execution of the project. Right now, we're going to talk about ideation of our project. How do we, as teachers, ideate what is the challenge in my classroom, which is simple to solve, which, is, which can be solved in an innovative manner, which is reusable by a lot of other teachers, Pan-India, and... Uh, you know, which is very diverse also, like it can be used in diverse uh, states as well. So how do first step is to basically recognize the challenge faced, you know, and then we are going to create an action plan, clear, write clearly the action steps on how we will solve this challenge. Take those actions to solve this challenge and analyze the impact. So probably uh, the teachers can do before and after of this uh, innovative solution before they uh, actually innovate in a classroom what exactly were the challenges how do they measure that challenge is there an assessment that they have conducted with the children to identify there is some challenge and after using this innovative solution have they conducted a end line solution a end line assessment again to identify there that the sol uh, that the problem has been solved using this solution and you know how much impact has happened on the children so first we need to identify the challenge hello uh 
Hello, Megha, I think we are not able to hear you. All the videos Hello? are standardized. Can you hear uh, me? Sorry, Megha, we lost you for about a minute in between, but uh, now we are able to hear you. All right. Thank you, Ramna. So uh, we were talking about how to create Vidya Amrit Mahatsav journey video and give a structure to the video so that we have standard solutions, the standard structure to all the solutions. And the teachers also clearly express what the challenge is and what the solution is. So for the first 30 seconds, the teachers are going to introduce themselves. So this is a recommended structure. So for the first 30 seconds, teachers can introduce themselves. Their, they can state their name, their school name, their district, state, or whatever uh, they want to share as an, in terms of demography. Then for the next one minute, they can talk about the objective of this video, what their challenge was in the classroom, what are they going to solve uh, using an innovative solution, and how did they measure that problem? How did they know about that problem? Then for the next two and a half minutes, the teachers can talk about the action steps. What exactly did they do in clear, actionable steps? What did they exactly do to solve this challenge? It could be uh, three steps, four steps, five steps. There is no limitation to these steps. They can add number of steps on Diksha app. And if the time permits, uh, Soumya can also give us a walkthrough. And I would really recommend for you to stay back and uh, take this walkthrough. It will be very easy for you to submit your innovations if you understand how it works on the app. So uh, a minimum of two steps you have to uh, submit, but you can add more steps. And in these action steps, you have to clearly state what did you do to solve this problem. And in the end, you have to submit the journey video, which is based on this guideline. And in the last one minute, you can talk about how this uh, innovative solution can be reused in other geographies with other teachers to solve this problem. Now, this problem could be common as well. It could be a very unique problem as well. But what we are looking for here is even if the problem is common, how innovatively you have solved it. Right? Or how simply you have solved this problem. So if you look at this video, you will clearly understand what, you know, this teacher, Dr. Rachna Singh, she has followed this uh, uh, video guideline to create this video. And it's very interesting, uh, interestingly executed. Soumya? Yes, so uh, Mega has explained the video guidelines really well. We have uh, teachers from Uttar Pradesh, from Punjab, who've already submitted their videos. Here, uh, we are playing the video, and the teacher talks about an innovative pedagogy uh, in history. So she has made history very, very relatable for children, a uh, civics and history teacher. And she's made it very relatable and real life for the students to understand the concept of state, of district, and blocks. Sorry, the audio of the video is not there. Mega? Yeah. Uh, can you hear it now? No, we are not able to hear it. Um, go to the share screen. Go to the share screen. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, option of share with audio. About share group. So maybe maybe while Megha is uh, sharing Ramya, the with... yeah. Yeah, Ramya, so just we're just figuring Megha's... out the audio thing. Yeah, maybe while Megha is switching on the audio, uh, there are a few questions from the audience. Soumya, if I can request you to answer a couple of questions from the audience. One question is. Can only school teachers participate or can coaching class teachers also participate 
इन विद्या अमृत महोत्सव Thanks, Ramya. So currently, the festival is open to school teachers uh, because in when we give you the Diksha app walkthrough, you will have to select the school. So the drop down will only be for existing schools that are there. And is it for both private schools and government schools? Yes. So uh, the festival, from a national perspective, is open to all. However, states have chosen whether they want to open it up to private schools or only government schools. Currently, Delhi, Chandigarh, Ladakh, and Telangana have opened it up for private schools as well. But at a national level, private schools can also participate. Teachers from private schools can also participate. Now we will consider if we get uh, if we get submissions from these states, so we will consider private schools as well. Got it. Uh, there is one question which is: Can we submit through uh, some other platform like Microsoft? And I think I can answer that myself. No, you need to submit on Diksha. Uh, there is another question: Is it only for CBSE schools? I can answer that. No, it is not specific to your board. You could be from any board, and you could be participating. Uh, is it necessary that the submission should be in English? Soumya, can you answer that? The submission can be in any language that you are comfortable in. Uh, we will also show you videos where the teacher is teaching in Hindi, Punjabi, etc. Uh, the idea is for you to capture the innovation and uh, do not restrict yourself by language. Okay, and uh, Soumya, uh, there are some teachers from states uh, like Tamil Nadu, which in the initial slide were shown as it is still to be launched or triggered. Uh, so, can teachers from those states participate? Yes, yes, they can. They can also participate. Okay, so if I understand correctly. the answer from ncert yes vignesh you can participate uh, the state level awards or competition at the state level may not have been announced in your state but the national level is very much open to everyone uh, and once again i'll repeat the i do see international participants in this webinar from kenya from ghana from philippines and i just want to mention that this particular webinar it's for teachers from india even though all the other webinars of centa are for teachers from anywhere in the world so maybe in the next round we can open for all <laughs> yeah <laughs> looking at the interest of the participants from other countries yeah we also have somebody I'm from qatar to see them yeah happy to see you all uh, in the session and maybe you know uh, what the ministry of education in india is doing uh, we all learn from each other and this could be an interesting set of ideas for your country uh, and you know please do share back okay do we have the audio now or we do can also to show support them? them yes absolutely we, we don't we can also support other countries uh, in organizing such competitions using our vidya uh, this micro improvement capability that's a that's a wonderful that offer from ncert so the participants whom i can see from uh, you know philippines and do qatar and uh, uh, kenya ghana yes you know, you know ncert from india is uh, very happy to collaborate if you if you want to great uh, mega do you have the do you have the video sure on the note of uh, ncert of micro improvements going international here is the video an exemplar video can you see my screen yes we can see it see okay samya do you want to take us through this Uh, so you you will be able to see that the teacher has first introduced herself her school and her innovation like it was defined in the video guidelines 
then she takes us through action steps these action steps are captured in the form of photo clippings as well as an actual recording of a part of the recording of her classroom uh, that she took up in the playground itself and then she concludes by narrating what impact it had and we would like the videos that are coming in to feature all of these different aspects in order for you to have a very uh, good chance of actually getting recognized with your like cutlery paper madam composite is the video audible now kulkarn janpad gunnau uttar pradesh mein sahayak shikshak ke pad par yes aao jaane apna pados kaksha 6 se 8 ke bachchon ke liye hai maine paya ki kaksha mein bachchon ko स्थान जगहों दिशाओं का व्यवहारिक ज्ञान नहीं था बच्चे किस जनपद में रह रहे हैं और उनके पड़ोसी जनपद कौन से हैं इसका ज्ञान नहीं था बच्चे जनपद मंडल प्रदेश देश को लेकर भ्रम की स्थिति में थे जब भी कभी प्रदेश की बात होती तो वो देश के बारे में बताते और जब कभी देश की राजधानी पूछी जाती तो वो प्रदेश की राजधानी बताते उनके इस जो भ्रम था उसको दूर करने के लिए मैंने अपना नवाचार आओ जाने अपना पड़ोस शुरू किया इस नवाचार में मैंने कोशिश की कि बच्चों को दिशाओं का जगहों का व्यवहारिक ज्ञान करा पाऊं साथ में कहा से कौन सी नदी बह रही है किस तरह का कौन सा उत्पाद प्रसिद्ध है किस जनपद में कौन सी फसल की पैदावार हो रही है किस जनपद का कौन सा ऐतिहासिक स्थल है इसकी मैं पूरी जानकारी बच्चों को दे पाऊँ so here she is uh, showing her impact to ye line ye kisi kisi jis ka naksha hum logo ne banaya kya hai ye bachcho uttar pradesh uttar pradesh ka map hai ye theek hai bachcho to hum logo ne padha tha abhi tak ki hamare uttar pradesh mein kitne mandal hai 18 mandal jo janpad jo jile aap log dikha rahe ho ये जिले कौन कौन से मंडल के हैं लखनऊ मंडल और कानपुर मंडल के वेरी गुड तो लखनऊ मंडल में अगर हम देखें तो आपके पास कौन सा है लखनऊ है आपके पास रायबरेली वेरी गुड और आपके पास क्या कौन सा जिला है आपके पास कौन सा जिला है सीतापुर आपके पास हरदोई आपके पास उन्नाव ठीक है तो ये हमारे कौन से हो गए the teacher has then shown a part of the recording of the standing and they are able to understand how which is their neighboring uh, district and which is their neighboring city and block uh, and then the teacher we just forward the video in the interest of time the teacher then goes har janpad se judi achhi achhi the teacher then goes on to talk about what other actions she had taken for example telling the students about which is a good object or what is the speciality of a particular place and then she explains the impact of what ultimately everything that we are doing is towards improving learning outcomes and she talks about how this particular pedagogy helped her do that cheezon ki jankari dena kis tarike se aapke kaun se padho she also uh, related other uh, she uh, other related topic uh, to the main topic of this geographical setting of mandals janpads and all so what is famous in that particular mandal uh, jila so uh, she also integrated aligned concept with the main concept dosi janpad hai agar yahan baat kare ki agar main puchu aapka padosi unna hai to is tarike se bachchon ko hamare padosi जो जिले हैं उनकी जानकारी होती है साथ ही कौन सा उद्योग कौन सा वहाँ पर प्रोडक्ट फेमस है उसकी जानकारी हम इससे दे सकते हैं उत्तर प्रदेश से कौन सी नदियाँ कौन सा जो शहर है वो तो किस नदी के किनारे बसा है इसकी जानकारी दे सकते हैं इसके अलावा हर जिले की जो खास चीज़ है वो हम दिखा सकते हैं कौन से कहाँ के साहित्यकार हैं इस तरीके से हम इसको बढ़ाते बढ़ाते बहुत अच्छी अच्छी जानकारी इन इसके माध्यम से दे सकते हैं थैंक यू इस नवाचार का फायदा ये हुआ है कि बच्चे मानचित्र में अपना जनपद पहचानने लगे हैं बच्चों को नो ग्रेट आई थिंक दैट वीडियो वुड हैव गिवन एवरीवन अ वेरी रियल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ व्हाट सच अ वीडियो नीड्स टू लुक लुक लाइक 
you would have seen that the teacher explained what she is trying to do and she also showed glimpses from her classroom obviously as dr indu said in the beginning you don't need to show your entire classroom but you are showing a few glimpses to bring out the innovation or micro improvement and how it is helping yeah. students learn better or how it is improve helping in whatever objective you are trying to have and uh, this video was in hindi so uh, so as somebody asked yes it can be in any language uh, sorry megha you went on mute again Mega uh, do you want to show another video or would you like to answer a couple of questions from the chat Bolo Bolo Hello can you hear me now Hello can you Yes can hear you now Uh so No I think you'll have to stop your screen sharing because it's interfering with the yeah Yeah Megha can I ask a couple of more questions from the audience Yeah sorry no cannot hear you Yeah, I cannot hear you, Mega Somya. Okay, so while uh, while the audio comes back for the NCRT team, uh, yes, I think there are a couple of more questions. I see one question which I can answer, which is uh, uh, how is Centa involved with this? So Centa is not. directly involved we are one of the many private organizations trying to support ministry of education and ncrt in this initiative by uh, motivating teachers to participate by clarifying whatever questions teachers might have and given that it is aligned with our broader mission of rewarding recognizing and celebrating teachers uh, so it's simply a contribution to the initiative that ministry of education and ncrt are taking the um, other question i see on the uh, chat is when will the results be announced so i think no we still cannot hear you i don't know what the issue is but maybe you want to tell me on the chat third okay so 31st december is the last date for submission and uh, the question is about when will the results be announced uh, as ncrt mentioned earlier there are lakhs of submissions from across the country there are also state level results as well as national level results so once the deadline for submission is over ncrt would be compiling all of this and uh, during 2023 the results will be announced at the state level as well as the national level so you can imagine the time and effort that goes into evaluating a range of submissions which come from across the country and as dr indu mentioned in the beginning 
if you are a winner of course you will be widely recognized etc but even if you're not a winner and you are a participant your micro improvement will be available on diksha for teachers from across the country to see and uh, and of course as all of us know teachers are keen for other teachers to learn from their work and grow their own classrooms and that's also what this initiative will enable us to do let me just quickly see if there are any more questions on the chat i'm glad to see that many people found the video shown by ncert to be very helpful uh, as a very good example and uh, they found it innovative so uh, so i'm sure the teacher whose video was shown will be happy to get that uh, get that feedback meanwhile i'll also mention that uh, the feedback form for this webinar has been put on the chat so you can see the link to the feedback form for this webinar so please do go and fill it as always we will use the feedback form to know not only how we should improve which we will of course use it but also to know whether you attended the webinar and uh, based on your based on your i think the ncrt team is back no i think the volume is not working on this device but it is working on your other device somya so maybe you want to connect from the other device okay so while they're coming back uh, you will have the feedback form please do fill it as always we'll be using it to check your attendance and uh, uh, it will get added to your uh, professional development hours and the my center record as always so uh, you will be able to uh, keep seeing your updated professional development hours on the my center app as you as you all are aware nep 2020 also requires that teachers should go through at least 50 hours of professional development every year and uh, uh, keeping track of your own professional de development hours is a good way to get prepared for uh, this uh, for, for for this requirement in addition to of course learning which all of you are keen on doing mega can we hear you now no i think we are still facing an audio problem uh, but i'm glad that uh, through chat ncrt has been able to answer most of the questions let me see if there are any other yeah there is another very good question from akanksha in delhi which is can one more than one entry be made by one teacher so uh ncrt team can i get a reply on chat can more than one entry be made by one teacher but when we are speaking here you know, then also they can't hear us no so now i can hear you chat. now i can hear you wonderful so please get tell us your uh, response live now now we can hear you so somya can one teacher make more than one entry uh somya the question is can one teacher make more than one entry for vidya amrit mahotsav are we audible yes you are audible all right so uh, more than currently on diksha app you can only submit one entry for uh, the amrit mahotsav sure so so the answer is you can only submit one entry for vidya amrit mahotsav right now uh, the other question is uh, where should participants go for submitting the video so what should they type on google or wherever to 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 find the link okay so you have to go to diksha app in that you have to register yourself then you go to the home page and you scroll down to the bottom where project tile is visible 
within the project tile you will see a vidya amrit project and yeah. there itself you have Asked to write object down as per object as well as submit the video for the object as well as submit great so uh, so you have to go to the diksha app uh, go to the project section within the project section you will find vidya amrit mahotsav and we need to submit the uh, video over there uh, so i think the uh, dr sushma prajap and avita uh, rani i think your question is answered नहीं session but if you have any technical queries during submission please ask the queries directly on diksha uh, because we would not be in a position to answer the technical queries uh, so as center we are essentially trying to motivate teachers to participate but uh, please answer the please ask the query on diksha i can also see some questions on other courses of center since today's webinar is not about center courses uh, we will not get into that right now and and you can always ask uh, that query uh, by, by going to the center website so we we will not get into that right now we will be focusing only on vidya amrit mahotsav okay i think most of the queries on vidya amrit mahotsav are answered i'm just scrolling the uh, chat to see if i've missed something are we audible now ramya yes you are very audible now yeah there is one more question uh, ncrt team which is that uh, somebody who is not a teacher currently so maybe taking a break from teaching or retired etc can they also submit सेंट्रलाइज कॉम्पिटिशन so uh, if uh, states and uts want to uh, allow them they can participate and if they submit their entries at the net great so i think everyone got the answer to that uh, uh yeah there's one more question which is is video the only way to submit or can one submit a written document okay i think there's a little bit of an internet issue at the ncrt office uh somya if you are able to hear us on the other device is video the only way to submit or can we submit a written entry okay so uh, there, are there are two components which are compulsory uh you could just mute your other device somya your device is working fine Yes, so there are two components that are mandatory. First is the submission on the Diksha app that includes a text part where you explain what is your objective, what are the action steps you took, and uh, what is your project title. And when you try to submit the pro uh, project itself, there will be a prompt that asks you to actually submit your video. The video is mandatory, so it cannot be skipped. for a valid festival entry great so uh, so so i think everyone got that oh yeah 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 
Yeah, so Anjali Tandi, yeah, so I think your answer is that. Okay. Uh, is there any age limit for submission? No, there is no age limit for the submission. Great, great. Uh, so I think Kumut Sharma, you got your answer. Uh, okay, so I think I think we've answered all the questions which are there. Uh, if there are any further comments from Dr. Indu or Megha or Soumya, any closing comments? Uh, yeah. So we, uh, due to the time constraint and the glitches we faced in between, we could not uh, walk uh, the teachers through the app. So maybe we can have a second round of meeting to take them through the app, how to uh, <laughs> make submission using the uh, Diksha app. So that part we couldn't uh, complete today. Sure. So sure. Otherwise, all the queries were related to the uh, theoretical aspect of it and the practical aspect of it. We have covered, but taking them through the app still remains. Yes. Yes. So uh, definitely, you know, would welcome uh, welcome any inputs on that front. Uh, and as uh, you summarized earlier, everyone needs to scroll to the bottom of the home screen where you will come across projects and within projects, you will come across Vidya Amrit Mahotsav. And after that, you should be able to submit. Uh, but definitely, you know, we can uh, try to see if there is a way to share uh, more details about it. And uh, including, you know, Dr. Indu, if you want to share it with us offline, we can also share it with all the uh, share it with, with teachers in the we network. We can share this presentation where we have uh, uh, screenshots of the entire process of submission. That will be wonderful. That will be wonderful. So I think that will take care of the uh, of, of giving a very <laughs> practical feel for what the submission looks like. Uh, and uh, we can definitely circulate that to everyone. Yeah, and I think the only last question uh, as far as Vidya Amrit Mahotsav is concerned, during 2023, the results will come up and uh, NCRP will, I'm sure, announce more specifically uh, as the plan becomes clear based on the number of submissions, etc., what the dates will look like. Uh, as far as today's webinar is concerned, which is different, there, of course, you know, you will get your PD hours uh, that for whoever has attended the webinar live. And uh, as always, it's only for live attendance uh, and uh, not for watching it later. Anything else, Dr. Indu, that you want to mention to motivate the teachers to participate? So I think we have presented uh, from our side, uh, but yes, we would uh, like to have uh, a large submission from uh, the teachers who are attending this uh, workshop. We are CIT and CRT is always in for uh, celebrating innovations in any area and also recognizing teachers. We uh, have another other initiatives also for recognizing teachers. There is a national ICT award that we organize for the teachers for the innovative use of ICT in their teaching learning process. Apart from that, we also organize an India Audio Film Festival and ICT Mela. So where uh, the uh, <clears throat> small uh, videos uh, developed by students and also teachers and the professionals. So we have different categories for that. So this year, uh, this time we tried to celebrate this with the Amrit Mahotsav using the micro improvement capability and other two are regular features of NCRT. So we are always there to recognize teachers and uh, encourage them uh, to adopt innovative and engaging method for the good of uh, the uh, for the enhancement of the quality of education. So that is all from my side. And I wish all the best to all the teachers and they are doing wonderful innovations. 
but we, we, we cannot recognize all, but we can uh, uh, through uh, the award and certification, but we, uh, we can recognize all of them because their innovations will be visible through social media also. We are using the uh, social, social media also to share their videos. So best videos will also be shared through social media. So that is how we have a complete uh, plan chalked out to recognize uh, as many teachers as we can. So that is the whole idea. Uh, thank you very much and all the very best to all of you. Thank you very much, uh, NCRT team, for being with us today and uh, for sharing your guidance with all the interested teachers on how to participate in this national initiative by Ministry of Education. Uh, very glad to see this initiative and uh, looking forward to large scale participation from uh, teachers. Thank you again for being with us.